Welcome to Moon Tree Galleries. I'm Jane Everhart. I'm the painter of the works on exhibit this month and a half. The exhibit's called Amid Us. And it's about the landscapes around us, some of the critters that are around us. It has some Chinese calligraphy because I studied Chinese calligraphy and it's often landscape based. I hope you'll find something that interests you when you come to see it. Thank you for coming again. I'll tell you a little bit about how I got to these paintings when I was much, much younger. Um, I studied in high school and, high, and junior high school and in summer schools with very good teachers. I went to a liberal arts college and I studied as an apprentice with two um, particularly um, noteworthy painters. After college, after the apprenticeships, I wanted to try and find my own voice in landscape painting and developed all kinds of ways of working, which you will see um, several examples of in this exhibit. You'll see some of the small pastel paintings where there's a little bit of a world or even a little bit of storytelling in one small format. You can tell in these small pastel paintings that there is a progression from pretty straight, recognizable, although atmospheric, winter landscape that we're all coming out of, to a tree line that is quite recognizable with an element of the horse, which is maybe a memory. Unlike the horse, this is m much more a recognizable deer, animal, amid us. But because of its small um, aspect, the, the painting does look like a story that could be in a book. So we have a, a very recognizable little painted image and then at the end of the line of small pastels is the most generalized or abstract but I think also recognizable because we've all been out in an autumn tree line and seen the sun come in a burst of colors. You'll see some large um, water paintings, lake paintings, where simple ripple marks are repeated over and over so that you can see the details or maybe you see first the body of water or the body of color. Um, and that kind of mark making of um, recognizable landscape aspects or body color or field color you can see in all the landscape, almost all the landscapes, um, whether it's water or field. The, there are two scrolls in the show and there will be descriptions and you can read about the scrolls and how they relate to the landscapes when you're here. This is Sato and it's, this is a field, you can see, and then this is the character for Earth. And so put it together and it's arable land or precious land. And then here, so that's Sato, this is Yama or Shan in Chinese. So here you have almost pictorially a mountain. It's been a little bit abstracted over 4,000 years. So you have arable land and mountain coexisting in this expression that once meant precious land between the mountains and the villages and now very recently means living in harmony with nature. There are drawings too because I love drawings and you'll see um, drawings of very recognizable critters in all of our lives, squirrels, doves. I hope you'll find something that piques your interest. I know that because you're here, you've come through the fields and um, you have them all around you. Um, please enjoy the show.